Yeah, good morning, everybody. My name is Africa, Mr. Joe. I want to respond to all these things posted by Austin, the person that calls himself a cube. Yeah, as beautiful as the memory lane is, I would have accorded you some respect. If after posting all these things, you concluded by saying, although some of those people that fought you in their, in their respective platforms have come to realize and are now on one lane with you, that would have made you at least a hero. That would have made you not to appear biased. That would have made you appear more sensible. And that would have earned you some respect from at least me. But it's unfortunate you just did this because you want to score a point or because you you want to prove a point or you want to appear, I don't know, your motive behind this uh, uh, memory lane. Because the truth of the matter is, if UAG was real, you would not be posting all these things you have posted. I took the time since yesterday morning you posted it to carefully go through it through my free period. And I was just laughing. Because the truth of the matter is, at different points in time, people got to understand different things. And when you are convinced about something, even though the thing may not be true, it is normal for you to defend it especially something that is positive something that is likely to put food on your table something that is likely to change the destiny of people of the less privileged persons from the time all these right of your posted were done to these moments there has been a lot of significant changes better understanding of what truly really is better access to information better more and more revelations that has influenced everybody or almost everybody's mindsets do you know let me tell you as at now regardless of the whole revelations out there concerning uh being non-existent there are so many people that still believe that uh is not a scam i'm talking about people that genuinely believe not NGOs that have taken a lot from the people and are just making noise to keep covering up or to avoid the people that have taken a lot from to come for them and all that. That is our own level of understanding for those that still genuinely believe. So I believe that, in fact, even the voice notes of Ostas Dawood was cloned or he was under pressure duress to have made such voice notes. That Ken Wakaman's name was never in any document. Some people will still believe because they feel that somehow, somehow, there must be money somewhere for this bossman, and it's only Ken that will disburse it because of the lies that have been sold to them thus far. They genuinely believe that is their own level of understanding. So if you are at the point you were speaking against Ken Wakama and UH, and you were better informed than I was, and it turns out today that what you are saying or what you've been saying hitherto to was true. And having realized that what you were saying was true, this man had been lying to us and I've come and at the time I realized immediately I turned against him against UH and became on the same spot with you. What difference does it make? It doesn't make any difference. The only difference it makes is that you probably learned or realized before me. So what point have you scored? You have not scored any point. There is nothing special about a platform and a platform owner. However, every platform has their own objectives. If you're in a platform where there are diehard followers of UAG, for instance, and you have a contrary opinion, as a learned person you are, I presume, you are supposed to learn how to put your words rightly in the platform, knowing full well that they are diehard followers. 
except you have made up your mind that you didn't care if you would be removed in the platform if you're in anybody's territory you have to learn to respect that person even though your mindset or orientation orientation rather of level of understanding is not in alignment with that of the person it doesn't mean you should do things anyhow because the person the platform is saying rubbish or the people in the platform are saying rubbish then you come and use poisonous words say all manner of rubbish at the time people were still convinced that UAG was real when I go to platforms I don't do that if you see me do that you know I didn't care if I would be removed from the platform so it's a very normal thing for anybody to remove you from his platform not necessarily because your opinion was different from the persons from the, the general understanding or presumption of the people in the platform but because of your choice of voice, your arrogance and all that. I don't have time to start checking my conversations with you. But I know I must have probably probably reached out to you privately as I always do to tame you down, to tell you to calm down, to give you reasons why you should just calm down. Things that I would not want to do in the public, I would just quietly come and tell you. So we'll not have issues. So go ask those that know African Mr. Joe very well in Beautiful People platform. I hardly remove people. And if I remove you, it's a matter of a few minutes, I will even be the one to call you back to want to fix you back. If I remove you permanently, it means you're a troublesome person and I just can't deal with someone like you. So you have not scored any points. That you were removed was not a point. If you knew that all you were saying was real, you would have made your point in a more civilized way and nobody would have removed you. I guess you will argue and argue with people and that's all. But for you to have you removed, there's more to it than meets the eye. There is more to it than the eye can behold.